back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel and something that I've never done before. And it might come as a little bit of a shocker to some of you, but if you do know me, then you know that I've always been really interested in wigs and I've always been really intrigued by the idea of changing up your look every day and switching up your hair every day without the struggle of damaging your hair. But I've never actually bought one myself. Although it's really funny because a few days before this company reached out to me, I was basically just researching about all the different kinds of wigs like synthetic, human hair, um, lace front and full lace wigs. After I was done researching all about wigs and contemplating buying one, this company reached out to me and asked me whether or not I would want to try one of their wigs and I of course said yes. But I do want to mention that I was very clear with this company and letting them know that if I was not happy with the wig or I personally did not like it, that I would not be mentioning it to you guys. And they were perfectly okay with that. They were very understanding and I definitely really appreciated that. I just want to put that disclaimer out there to let you guys know that I would never share something with you guys unless I truly do like the product. But I actually do happen to really like this wig so that is why I'm showing it to you guys today. Before I get into the review of this wig and how I put it on, if you guys like me, and you like my channel then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you guys here it's super easy and it's so much fun over here so I mean why not but without further ado let's get right into this review so by the way before I start this is my natural hair this is it like air dried and not blow dry it I didn't straighten it I didn't curl it this is just how it is um, it's kind of starting to grow towards the top which is why it's like a little bit more wavy up here and then the bottom is just like pretty damaged so it's just kind of straight down here and that's the great thing about wigs also is that I could style my hair and make it look nice without actually having to put heat on my hair which I think is like such a great alternative so the company that I'm going to be reviewing today is called everyday wigs and this is the box that the wig came in I know it's a little bit difficult to see because my lights are a little bit aggressive but it just says everyday wigs on it with some flowers and then they have their website on the side right here. If you guys are interested in this wig or looking at any of the other wigs on their site, then I do have a discount code for you guys and it's just my name. It's just Lamia and you guys can get 15% off any of the wigs on their site. Obviously, I've already opened and wore the wig and like the wig caps and everything, so it came a lot neater than this. But I'm just going to show you guys what came in the box when I opened it. One of the first things I noticed when I opened this box is that it comes with wig caps and I'm sure a few other companies do this but a lot of the companies that I actually searched reviews on a lot of the people said that they had to personally buy their own wig caps and if they did come with a wig cap then it usually came with one but this company actually gives you two wig caps and I believe you can get them in different shades this one I've been wearing but this is the second one which I thought was definitely a plus of this company and another thing that I noticed right off the bat when I opened the box is this brush and a lot of companies like I said um, don't offer a brush which is really important especially if you have a synthetic wig because you want to make sure that the brush isn't too aggressive you want to make sure that it's not going to tug at the hair and pull the hair out of the wig so this brush is super gentle and very similar to like a wet brush in my opinion And then my wig actually just came in this plastic bag right here I know I watched another girl's video and she said that she stores her wig in this plastic bag But I'm actually thinking about buying like the styrofoam wig heads off of like Amazon or something as of right now This is gonna sound like ridiculous, but I've been hanging my wig like on the corner of my couch because I don't know where else to hang it. I just personally want to like leave it hanging so it can just like sit and lay. And I feel like if anybody walks in here, they're going to be like kind of scared because there's going to be like a wig on the side of my couch. It kind of looks like a person. And I also believe that the box comes with a card with care instructions for the synthetic wig, which I think is so great, especially for people who've never worn a wig before. Um, unfortunately, I think I actually lost it, but... I'm pretty sure it does come with that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the wig that I ended up choosing from their site. I wanted to pick a wig that was like complete opposite of my hair because I mean, why would I get one that's similar? Like I want something complete opposite, that's just me. So I got a light gray, long, 
synthetic lace front wig from their site. I'll also have it linked down below. But this wig is just a 24 inch light gray straight synthetic wig. This wig is also lace front. So the lace only comes a little bit in the front and this is where you can end your part right here, if you guys can see. Um, you have more leeway to doing a part in the center than you do on the sides, for example. Um, as you can see where the lace ends, you don't really have as much space to do a side part, which is fine with me because I personally wanted to do a middle part. I believe all lace front wigs come like this. Usually when you put it on and you get it, there's like a bunch of lace hanging down in the front. It comes to like right here. So I just looked up a few tutorials on how to cut the lace off of a wig, and that's what I went off of. So I just kind of cut as close as I can. Obviously I'm not a professional at this. Um, I'm not a professional at putting it on either. This is my first one and I'm still learning. I've kind of figured out for the most part a way that works for me for right now. Um, but if you guys have any tips on like how to put this on a little bit better than maybe I am, um, then definitely let me know down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and flip this like kind of inside out so I can show you guys like what the inside of the wig looks like so i already show you guys the lace front and where it ends there is also three clips that come with this wig there's two on the sides in the front and one in the complete center i personally do attach the clips to the inside of my wig cap and then down here at the bottom it is a little bit difficult to show you guys i hope you guys can see um but at the nape of the neck right here there's just like a little bra strap is what i would call it it looks like a bra strap to me and you can basically just tighten your wig with this and if it's a little bit too big for your head. I do use this because I have like a pretty small head and it just makes it a little bit more secure, but obviously you could leave it open, it'll be bigger or you could tighten it, it could be smaller. And then another good thing about having this 24 inches, I personally have long hair, so it really doesn't bother me. I'm used to like having pretty long hair, but you could obviously style it however you would want to. You could cut it, you could layer it, you could leave it like this. Um, there's just so many different options of like how you want to wear it and how you want to style it when you have so much hair like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I put on my wig. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair down the center. That way my part matches the part in the wig. And then obviously if you wanted to change the part to the side, you could and I would just recommend parting your hair at the same part that you are going to wear on your wig. Okay, so I went ahead and parted my hair down the center. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my hair just so there's not a lot of tangles in it. So if you do have long hair like I do, I would recommend French braiding your hair, but I personally am not very good at French braiding. I also don't have that much hair because my hair is pretty thin. So I'm just gonna do two regular braids down the sides of my hair, but I'm gonna make sure that they're super, super tight. That way they can lay really flat against my head once I pin them up. And I'm also going to make sure that I bring this as flat as I possibly can. Um, everything is going to be under the wig cap anyway, um, but I still would recommend trying to get this as flat to your head and as tight as possible. So once I have the two braids down the sides, I do have like a lot of like stray hairs, but again, it is going to be under a wig cap. So I'm now just going to take some bobby pins and I'm going to kind of form an X in the back of my head. So I'm going to take this braid and I'm just going to pin the braid like this and then I'm going to bring it to the other side and then I'm going to pin it like that. And then this braid, I'm just going to bring through the side and then over and do the same thing. And you just wanna make sure that it's pretty flat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin these braids to my head. I've seen people lay their hair flat tons of different ways, but this is just the way that personally works for me. Um, you can just play around and see how you can get your hair the flattest. So now I have my hair laid on my head, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wig cap now and I'm going to put this over all of my hair. And I'm just gonna try and tuck as much hair into the wig cap as I can. And if the roots of the wig were similar to your natural hair color, then you could pull out some baby hairs. Um, but this is like, again, complete opposite from my hair color. So unfortunately, I can't really do that. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and actually put on the wig. So basically what I've learned to do is kind of just hold the wig upside down like a bucket. So I'm just gonna hold the wig from the nape of the neck area like this. 
and I'm basically just going to like dip my head into it. And then once I dip my head into it, I'll just like flip the hair back and then I'll secure all of the clips and like the strap in the back and all of that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put the wig on and then I'll just kind of adjust the hairline. So it looks a little bit crazy right now, but just bear with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the clips that are underneath. I'm just gonna feel them with my hand and I'm just going to clip them right under my wig cap. And then I'm also going to attach the strap in the back. Once the wig itself is on, I'm first just gonna go ahead and brush it out. I know you can see my hair underneath right here, but we're gonna fix that in a second. Something that does kind of bother me about this wig um, is that I feel like it's like a little bit stringy up here. I'm not really sure how to fix that. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about. I know that the part only goes back so far, so that's part of the reason why, but I feel like it's just like a little bit like stringy, if that makes any sense. I don't really know how to explain it. Something that I do think is really good about this wig though is that a lot of hair doesn't come out when you brush through it. Like typically with a synthetic wig, you'll lose a lot of hair, but I really don't lose a lot of hair out of this wig. I'm firstly just gonna go in with a white shadow from my Kylie palette, and I'm going to take a Morphe E27, just any like brush will work for this, it really doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna try and conceal like where my sideburns are. I am gonna like try and glue down the sides so it won't be as noticeable, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of make that hair a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna take some clear lash glue now. This is just some Eyler lash glue that I got with my Eyler lashes. And I'm going to like glue down the sides where my hairline is. That way it looks a little bit more realistic. So I'm just gonna put this directly onto like my skin. I'm just gonna wait for it to get a little bit tacky and then I'm going to glue down the sides. This is what the top looks like right now after I laid the sides down as best as I could. Um, again, like if you guys have a better idea for me of like how to do that, then that would be greatly appreciated. I'm just gonna take any powder that's kind of similar to my skin tone. You guys could use concealer for this as well, but I just like using a powder. So I'm just gonna take this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder and I'm just going to put this in the center where my scalp is, just so it can match a little bit better. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with a little bit of dry shampoo because since this is a synthetic wig, um, it does get pretty shiny. Um, that's normal for synthetic wigs. But this one in particular, I was kind of surprised because I don't feel like it's really that shiny. I have sprayed dry shampoo in it once, but even before I sprayed dry shampoo in it, it really wasn't that shiny. I believe that like the lighter wig shades like if you have a blonde wig or like a light gray wig like this i believe that they're a little bit less shiny as opposed to like if you were to get like a black wig so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray this with a little bit of dry shampoo to be honest i was expecting a synthetic wig to look like extraordinarily wiggy but to me this really isn't that bad like i think that i could get away with it but Personally, I haven't worn this in public yet just because I'm not used to having this hair But if I do decide to wear this out in public I do think that I'm going to put on like a baseball cap or a beanie Because that's how I've like been wearing it in pictures lately I just think that it looks so good that way and like when I wear a hat I feel like you can't even tell but overall I really do love this wig the wig is pretty pricey I'd say for a synthetic wig however, it does come with the two wig caps and a brush. I mean, I've also seen like the Bellamy Nikita Dragon wigs, which are a lot more expensive than this one. But with all the things that come with it and the quality of the synthetic wig itself, I do believe that I would pay the price. I'm going to go ahead and grab a hat so I can show you guys what it looks like with like a baseball cap. So this is personally how I would probably wear it out in public. I think it looks so cute with the hat on. Like I feel like it's just so cute. Like I love it like this. 
So I would probably wear this out in public with a hat like this. I think I'm gonna keep it on for the rest of the day. So for my overall review on this company and the wig itself, I do appreciate again that the shipping was so fast. I think it came in literally like three days and it came all the way from China. Again, for a synthetic wig, I really don't think it's that shiny. I think it's great quality. I love that it's a lace front. And I think that it was pretty easy to use for like my first wig ever. Again, if you guys do wanna buy this wig, or any of the wigs on their site, I will have this specific wig linked down below. And I will also have their site and my code LAMIA down below as well. That way you guys can get 15% off if you guys do decide to buy a wig. I definitely want to build a collection of wigs. That way I can just change up my hair every single day. I think it's so much fun and just so cute. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.